Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs, and today I thought I'd do a really, really quick video. Probably won't be quick, but <laughs> I'll do a video showing uh, my projects at the moment and also um, explaining about me giving my kiki's jumper. Um, I know a lot of you was like, oh please film it, and um, bits and pieces like that. So let me just explain why there is no footage of Mikey receiving his gift. Um, so his birthday was on Sunday, we went round there. Um, he was not well during the day, so me and Ian went round there about half three, four o'clock, um, and Casey had said that he had been sick in like the early afternoon, um, and he just was sort of quite run down, he wasn't very well. Um, they don't know what was wrong with him, uh, they gave him some cow pole and he seemed fine for the rest of the day. Um, well, <laughs> he seemed fine and not being sick or anything. So me and Ian got there, um, and I don't know whether any of you know this, um, we think Mikey has got autism, um, so he has traits of autism, um, being sort of obsessed with Mario and having to wear his hat all the time and, and bits and pieces like that. Um, we love him all the same. Um, he is going to be getting tested. Uh, but I gave him his presents and he was like, no, I've already had presents. Um, and I was like, no, but they're from Nisi and Ian. Um, he's like, no, no, I've already had presents. I've already had presents. And he just was not having any of it. <laughs> um, there is a little bit of footage, but I don't think I will add it because um, it's not fair for Mikey, really. Um, so I did buy Ollie. Well, I bought the boys like little Paw Patrol dinosaur things for Christmas. Totally forgot about them and they were in my wardrobe. <laughs> so I wrapped one up for Ollie. Um, and he opened his presents, he absolutely loves opening presents. Um, and he played with his little dinosaur and it come with um, the dog Marshall and things. Um, so he was really happy with his and Mikey just was not having it. Um, he was really tired, he was crying and so it was like, no, we'll just leave him, there's no rush. Um, in the end, Mike actually took him up to bed uh, because he was so tired. The snot was everywhere. He was bright red. Um, and I just think it was a bit overwhelming. Um, Mikey can get overwhelmed very quickly. Um, so I just think it was a bit overwhelming. And where he wasn't very well either, so it just didn't combine very well. Um, so he went upstairs for a nap. Um, come back downstairs he looked a lot better he, he said he felt better um and we said do you want to open your presents no 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 i don't want to open my presents so i was like that's fine it's not a problem <coughs> um and then casey's friend chloe came round and she had a present for him as well and she sat down and she said oh should we open your present like um she said like can I help him? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the end, I think Casey helped him um, open his presents. And he did see the jumper. We didn't try it on him. We didn't want to cause any distress or anything. Um, but I think he will be happy with it. And I was happy making it. I know he will enjoy wearing it. So it wasn't the big surprise at the time of giving it to him. Um, just because he wasn't very well and... It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, it's not the, oh wow, look at this, what I've got, initial opening. It's the wearing it throughout time that I hope he will enjoy more. So um, that happened. <laughs> um, and then on Monday night, or Tuesday, early hours of the morning, my sister actually went to my mum's. Um, I took her to the airport like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> um I took her to the airport and she, my mum had no clue um and still they got to the airport um my mum thought my aunt and uncle were going um and my dad rang my uncle and said can you ring me and say is it all right to come over um 
but it's actually Casey coming over and my uncle played the game and <laughs> my mum thought that my aunt and uncle were coming and it wasn't literally until my sister come through the gate of the airport that my mum knew it was Casey and not my uncle and aunt. <laughs> so yeah, it was, um, there is video of that. My dad did film it. So um, it'll probably be on his channel at some point. Um, or possibly Casey's channel because I think she is vlogging. <laughs> I know, <laughs> um, but we'll we'll just see. I don't know whether it'll go on social media instead of YouTube. Um, so yeah, they're there now. It's actually my mum's birthday today, so happy birthday, mum! Hope you have a lovely day. Um, it is also Jane's birthday from um, Mouse Knits. She did have a YouTube channel. Um, this is really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, uh, mouse knits um, yeah I was right um, so happy birthday and we are having a zoom this morning and she will be there so um, but yeah that is all my little bit of rambling I'm sorry <laughs> uh, but I have a finished object are you ready <laughs> um, I am so happy with this and it is my the back tea it is finished um i'm really really happy with it uh it looks really wide on the screen um i am going to wear it with the, the v at the back as i find that that looks better for me um i ain't really wearing clothes that matches this today so i will put it on at some point um and i will show it on um instagram um and i will wear it sort of at some point so you can see it um, so this is the V-back tea by um, Jamie Hoffman and this is the fingering weight the yarn that I used was Wiku yarn in the garden party colourway now I had three of these and one was darker than the other so I've still got some of the darker one that's a terrible rep representation but <laughs> this one has got not as much white in it that's the only thing that makes it um darker um and i think the green might be a bit darker so and i'm putting this into my cozy memory bag so i can do a square on that I haven't done any squares so i'm not going to show you that um i used i did the size six i think that size is quite good for me um i really like the way that it fits on my shoulders and everything um, I just literally did small little cap sleeves I put it on before um, I, I bound off the end and I put it on and Ian went oh you should leave the sleeves like that and I said yeah I was thinking that like just doing a rib round the, the edge um, instead of doing like longer sleeves like this and I really like it um, the sleeves look a little bit puffy here but they're not when when they're on um maybe it's just the way that it is let me go back a bit i don't know what you're seeing now um but the top let me show this way it might the top uh, i did alternate um a light skein and a dark skein and then at the bottom it was just the light skein where i was doing the short rows and the and then picking up the short rows i did add some length onto the bottom Sorry if I, I sound a bit coldy. Um, I've got a bit of a funny throat and I am a bit phlegmy. I hope it's just me getting rid of all the germs that I've got because I haven't really been well all week. <laughs> Again, never mind. Um, I did add a little bit onto the bottom so you can see how much I added. If I did it again, I would probably add probably that again. Um, you could probably see for like this purple line here that's how much I added which was not a lot um, and then it does say just to do four rounds of rib at the bottom and I was like oh no I want to do more than that because it might roll up um, a little bit like the boxy does I don't want it to roll so I did more and I'm pleased with how many I did um, I did use the wrong size needle for the rib at the top because I was too eager to cast on. Um, I needed a 3.25 millimeter and I used a 3.5 millimeter and I was like, oh, that'll be fine. And it is, it, it's, it's a little bit 
like see through -y. Um but the whole sort of construction is a bit um what's the word like not thin but drapey um so like the whole thing is sort of a little bit see-through um uh, it's just because the size needle that you use i think it's a four mil so yeah i'm really pleased with this i love the yarn um the only thing that i had was when i blocked it or when i washed it and rinsed it through the bleeding was unreal there was so much blue in the water and i think this should have been a lot lighter like the white should have been a lot brighter um than it actually is just because the blue in the water just overtook everything um you can't really see but um yeah so I rinsed as much as I could but blue was still coming out and um, it did message the dyer um and I didn't sort of moan or anything because these things happen um blue and red are the hardest colours to get rinsed um so I rinsed it as much as I could I then um put it in my spin dryer to spin and then I just blocked it on some of my blocking mats um, and I did that yesterday and it's dry this morning and I am so happy with it I'm gonna stop going on about this now <laughs> I feel like I've gone on about it far too much um, my February socks so if you didn't know I am running a knit along a year-long knit along called year of my sock 2022 um, there is a hashtag for all your finished objects on Instagram. There is a thread on Ravelry. Um, all my links are down below where you can find me and things. Um, and this month's prompt is Tiggled Pink. I am knitting this yarn, which was my August Mystery Club yarn from last year. Um, I don't no longer do mystery clubs or anything. Um, it was fun while I did them. Um, but I sort of stopped dying for a little while. Um, so yeah, this is um, a pink and white. I think I just put pink in the pan. Oh no, there's a little bit of green in there as well. I don't know whether you'll see it. Excuse my nails, they are disgusting. Um, so yeah, I have done my own little design. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, just a little heart I thought it's February um, it's not very good I don't know whether I'll do it on the next sock because <laughs> you can't really see it anyway I've done a heel flap and gusset and now I'm just onto the foot down to the toe um, I don't know I've just <laughs> I know I'm doing a year long sock along and I've sort of uh, with socks <laughs> Um, but I think it's because I had the V-back tea on the go and I've started another new project that I just can't put down um, but these will get done eventually so the next thing that I have cast on, which is, um, I blame Caroline from the Aria Bark Designs, Aria Bark Designs? Aria Bark Podcast. Um, I did link her channel before because um, I did mention it. So she's doing a yappy and scrappy blanket make-along. Um, and I have lots of scraps. Um, Oh, I say scraps, I have a lot of bits and pieces that are left over from yarns that I've used basically. So they're just all in this jar. I've got another jar up there as well. Um, it's a bit crazy. <laughs> so I decided to cast on a scrappy blanket and I can't put it down. Look how much I've done. Um, and it's massive. So this is it doubled. I think it's my wingspan. Oh, just, well. Sorry for my sniffing. Um, yeah, this is. It doubled. I just can't put it down. <laughs> I really can't. It's one of them things that I just itch in to work on and I just itch in to put the next colour in and. Yeah. So, this might be done fairly quickly <laughs> um a lot of these yarns are 
yarns that I've had for quite a while, um, like leftovers and that, and I'm just so glad that I'm actually using them because I got to a stage where I was like, oh no, I don't want to use that just in case I want to use it for like, I don't know, heels, toes, cuffs and like anything else. I'm not sure, like I, I was just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But then I decided that, Denise, they've been sat there for long enough, just put them in something. <laughs> And then I can do this again because I'm always getting new yarn. I'm always making things. Um, so yeah, this is my yappy and scrappy entry so far. It's a bit creased because I've folded it up and put it in the top. Um, the only thing that I might not use in it is like solid colours that I've got sort of this much of. Because um, I could possibly use this for like heels or a cuff or maybe like um the top of a cuff and things and I'm not sure I want to use this in this just yet so yeah <laughs> um and like I said I've got more up there and I've got um I've got quite big bits of yarn in here like this and that is really big so I might split that up maybe into two um because I did this one here this was um my colour pop colourway that I dyed up and it took one two three four nearly five rows yeah nearly five rows and I don't want anything too big I want it more like scrappy-ish even this one took up quite a bit as well. But we'll see how we go. I'm not sure. I'm just going to carry on with it. Um, my favourite bit so far is this here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on with that. Um, the next thing that I'm going to cast on, which is going to be today, is um, a loopy cardigan for the baby. Um, I'm probably going to do the... Three to six months, I would have thought... Yeah, I think that might be the best size, three to six months. Uh, baby's due in July, so it's July, August, September, and then September, October, November, December. That would be yeah. So I think that will be fine in that size. Um, one last thing, I'm just gonna. Sorry. One last thing is I have been dyeing some yarn which I haven't done in such a long time. There will be a shop update at some point, probably next week, I'm thinking, um, if I dye up any more. Um, but I have three skeins here. It did dye up five. Um, one I dyed up for the January sock, cluck, sock along, and then one I did gift to Jane, um, as it was her birthday today. So the first one that I dyed up was this one I haven't got names for them yet um, so if you could suggest any names that would be good I've got this one here which is beautiful then we have this lovely purple it's like purple blues um, not so much, gr I didn't put green in it, it was more blues. And I did put lots of pink in, but it didn't really come out too pinky. It came out more purpley. But that's beautiful. And then this one here, which is stunning. <laughs> I really want to keep it for myself, but I can't keep doing that. I need to, um, can't keep dyeing yarn and keeping it all. Um, so that is going to be my... That there it just reminds me of like rhubarb and custard. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it is lovely. So these will be going in the shop um, probably next week at some point. Obviously, I'll do another video. I'll do a post on Instagram. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everyone that is purchasing on my shop. Um, it is slowly um, ticking over. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I have got yarn, stitch markers and badges in the, in the Etsy shop. Um, and if you didn't know, yes, I've gone back to Etsy. Um, I was just finding my own website a little bit overwhelming <laughs> and really difficult to do anything with um, because it was more difficult than I thought. 
another thing that I have got actually that I could quickly show you. Um, if you have, if you get the Bird Street yarn, Top of the Pops yarn in the 100 gram skein, then look away now. But mine came um, yesterday. So are you looking away if you don't want to see it? And this is it. It's called Eternal Flame. Oh, it matches my top perfectly. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't know whether I'm going to make socks. Um, I don't know. It's so nice. Um, this was January's. <coughs> and this was called Club Tropicana. Um, and the next one is... I can't remember what the next one is, but on their Instagram, they have got a picture of the next one um, up. So I might get that one as well. I don't know. We'll see how we go. <laughs> um, I really am enjoying getting those. Um, now my phone is ringing. So that is basically it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you all very soon. Bye.